Hello. So the first question of the week for reflection from the book is <clears throat> summarize who each of the four men is and what unique contribution they made to missions and or missional strategy. So the first guy is William Carey. Second guy is uh, Hudson Taylor. Third guy is Cameroon uh, Townsend, and the uh, fourth guy is Donald McGravin. So, William Carey is the first of four men, and his story started out by basically getting into trouble and and because into trouble because he ch he he had challenged them by asking why. They didn't apply for the Great Commission to themselves. So they they decided to silence him and in order to work around that he wrote his ideas. And one of them was uh, a book called An Inquiry into the Obligations of Christians to Use Means of Conversion of the Heathens. Right. So later on the book inspired students and they led prayer into the honor of the book named Hashtag Prayer Meeting. His ideas was touched by a dozen of mission agencies on both sides of the Atlantic. Hudson Taylor is the second guy, so he started by suggesting that the inland people of China were needed to be reached, but they had told him that doing this would be putting young uh, lives into danger. So the solution was when God came to him and said that Hudson wasn't uh, one sending them in there. It was actually God doing. It was actually God sending them. So the third, the third on the third guy was Cameroon Townsend. Uh, and he started he started out by trying to translate the Bible into his missionary for people of India, so basically Indian people. But with him doing so they had they pun they pushed him out of the older missionaries who already made their minds up. They should be made made them made their minds up that they should be reached with their own languages. He sees this as a way to like, you know, maneuver his parts. So he made his new missionary outreach to new frontier and unreached to new frontiers and unreached tribes. Then the fourth guy is Donald. He started out by being into social aspect of the Indian people. He noticed some that go by a homo homo generous units. His main motives were both the church growth and frontier mission movement. And he didn't have super traction at the start. But in 1950, he and Kari had a wide audience. So, as basically a run, a simple a simplification or like a summarization of the four guys and their missions, their strategy, and what they uniquely contributed. Second thing, second question is according to the article. What are some contributions made by women and students to missions throughout the era? So, so one of the influences uh, from women missionaries and this trend. So, like one of the one of the one of the trend one of the things that women contributed was becoming the main custodians of mission knowledge and motivation. This made the women start to go on single missionaries. And many unmarried men, many unmarried women made a women's mission board that stated only single women as missionaries and was run entirely by single women at home. So that's what I put for that. And the third thing, the third question is, what is something new you learned about the history of missions? So as a result of reading this article, okay, what is something you learned about the history of missions as a result of reading this article? So 
so so one thing I learned about this article is so basically the gospel what people wanted so biblical movement biblical movements uh was wanted by uh, okay biblical movements came to be uh right so there's obviously people wanting to learn about god and uh I realize a, a big problem with that was uh, some people, the missionaries that want to go to other countries, they need to translate the language. And that was a big problem. So I think finding someone within America or like, let's say you're going to Mexico and you want to reach people, you need to find a Mexican that's here, that's in America and like have them translate. And or even if you're planning it for like six months in advance, you can like learn it six months and learn the basic stuff and just try to go out there and reach the people that aren't able to know about his word and that's like that's something i learned that there's a struggle that's one of the struggles with missionary trips and and uh reaching out to people so yeah that's it for me